Hello everyone, my name is Tatis. Welcome to Chair Yoga. We're gonna have a fun class today. We need a chair like this with no arms because we're gonna be using as a prop later on. And uh, we're also gonna need a towel. So have a small towel with you like this because we're gonna use it for a neck massage. So before we start a class, I always ask you to listen to your body and only do what your body allows you to do today. Honor any physical limitation and also pay attention to your breath through each of the poses. Breathing brings energy, healing, and relaxation to the body. So with that in mind, let's get started. And let's start by Relaxing the back on the chair, relax your shoulders and your back, relax your neck and place your hands on your lap. And I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes and take a moment to quiet the mind and become aware of your breath. We're going to be inhaling and exhaling through the nose smoothly but deeply Find the natural rhythm of your breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling. One more time, inhale, exhale. Open your eyes and bring the arms and hands to the sides of the chair. And on the inhale, bring both arms all the way up to the ceiling, lengthening from your hips, your spine, and your arms. And on the exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, palms up all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down. One more time. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, return the palms to your lap. Big exhale, good. We're gonna start warming up the neck. So bring your chin gently towards your chest. And on the inhale, bring your Chin up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring your chin up, exhale, down. Now bring your head back to neutral. We're gonna turn sideways, turn your head to the right, and then turn it to your left. One more time to the right, and to the left and bring your head back to center. Now we're gonna go sideways. We're gonna bring the right ear to the shoulder and keep your shoulder in place. So we're gonna bring the right ear towards the shoulder and left ear towards the shoulder. One more time to the right and to the left. Bring your head back to neutral now we're gonna bring the arms to the sides, take a deep inhale, open your chest. And on the exhale, we're gonna rotate the arms round your back. Inhale, open, exhale, round. Inhale, open again, exhale, round. Inhale, open. This time, bring the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down. And now we're gonna bring the shoulders up towards your ears. We're gonna tighten all the muscles around the neck and then let them go. Inhale, up tight. Exhale. One more time, inhale, up tighten every area around your neck. Exhale, release, shake the arms. So now we're gonna use this towel for a neck massage. We're just gonna fold it like this, and then hold it uh, on the ends with your hands, and then bring it behind your neck, and hold it, good. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift the shoulders up, tighten, squeeze your arms up, exhale down. Again, squeeze your shoulders up and down. One more time, up and down and the reason that we use this towel is uh, because every time that we tighten the muscles it relaxes uh, all the area of the neck and the towel fills in the spaces so it's a free massage okay 
So inhale, lift your shoulders up and now roll back. Inhale up and roll back. One more time, up, press and back. Good. So now let's fold the towel again, bring it back, good. So now let's move to the front of the chair. We're gonna start warming up the spine, good. <clears throat> We're gonna bring the palms to the front. Show me your palms. Elbows are close to your torso. We're gonna take a big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna push the hands. Exhale, elbows back. Inhale, push my hands. Exhale, back. Now on the next, when we push the hands, we're gonna round the back, stretching the back. Inhale, we open the chest. Exhale, we push the hands round the back. Inhale, push, open your chest. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale. Exhale, push. And on the next inhale, come back to neutral. Now we're gonna create gentle twist. We're gonna push the right hand to the front, left elbow goes back, and then we're gonna change. Good. And little by little, we create this gentle twist, side to side, warming up the spine. One more time. To each side. Come back to neutral. Release your arms. Shake them. Good. One more stretching. Inhale. Bring both arms all the way up to the sky. On the exhale, drop your right hand and lean to the right, keeping your chest open. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up. This time we're gonna open the arms to the right. Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. This time on the exhale, bring your hands to the front, touching my fingers, and then just drop the arms back, airplane mode, inhale all the way up, exhale hands to your heart center, big exhale. Now we're going to interlace the hands, open the palms, place them in your heart, good. And on the inhale, we're gonna turn the palms out and stretch the arms, exhale back. Inhale, stretch, and back. Inhale, stretch. You can stay here or continue to bring the arms all the way up, feeling a lift from the sky, like somebody's lifting you up. Beautiful. Take a big inhale. And on the exhale, release your arms and then bring them behind your back. Hold your arms in the back. And now bring the right ear towards your shoulder. Nice stretch. And then the left and then bring your head back to neutral, release the arms, shake them. Good. We're gonna do one more, twi two more twists. We're gonna um, cross the right leg. If this is too much, just keep your foot on top of the other, otherwise cross your leg. And then we're gonna open the arms wide, take a big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna gently twist to the left and drop your left arm, or the arm towards your leg, and then bring your head back to center, looking forward, good. Very good. And on the next inhale, just bring the arms, release them down, release your leg, shake it up. Good. We're gonna do the other side, cross the left leg. Open your arms wide, take a big inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna rotate to the right, drop the arms, bring your head back to center. Good, keep breathing. Good. On the next inhale, bring the arms out, release your arms, release the legs, shake them up. Good. One more thing, arms on the sides. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And then we're gonna drop both arms to the right. And on the inhale, we're gonna bring them up, creating a beautiful rainbow. You can follow with your eyes and to the left. Inhale all the way up and then drop to the right. 
Inhale all the way up and to the left. One more time, up and to the right. On the next inhale, we bring the arms up and then we're gonna open them up, good. And now we're gonna send a big hug to the world. It's a need of hug. So bring your arms, hug yourself, big hug. And on the inhale, open your arms wide. Exhale, this is for your loved ones, beautiful. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, one more to the world. And on the next inhale, open wide. Release, roll the shoulders, shake them up. Good. Now we're gonna to move to the belly and to the core. So it's important to always uh, work the core because it protects the lower back. So we tend to let go of these muscles because it's easier to just be like this, right? But we need to engage the belly, especially when we are practicing yoga. So we're gonna wake up this area by a tightening of the muscles. So place your hands on your lap. And on the inhale, just tighten your belly, bring your navel towards your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, tight. Exhale. One more time. Just feel how your spine is lifted. Good. Exhale, release. Good. We're gonna add one more thing. We're gonna bring the heels closer to his, uh, the chair. Hands on your, on your lap. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift the heels, tighten the belly, exhale, release. Inhale, up, exhale. One more time, up, exhale. This time we're gonna drop the arms and we're gonna bring them with us too. So take a big inhale, bring the arms in front, fingers pointing at me, good. Exhale, down. Inhale to the front and down. Tighten your belly each time. Inhale up. This time we're going to continue to come all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring everything down. One more time. Inhale up. This time we're going to stay here, but relax your shoulders. Tighten your belly. Keep breathing. Good. Good for your core. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release. Shake the legs. Shake the arms. Good. Very good. Now we're gonna do push-ups. It's also good for your belly and we're gonna use the arms to help us come up. Um, we're gonna place the hands on your lap. Elbows are close to your torso. We're gonna take a big inhale, tighten your belly. And on the exhale, we're gonna come forward and we're gonna stop just as far as the arms allow you to stop. Just stop right here. Don't drop your head. Keep your spine and your head aligned. Inhale, push your arms up. Exhale forward, feel your arms working. Inhale up, exhale fold. Now we're gonna stay here and we're gonna bring one arm and other arm and we're gonna rest them on your lap. Feel the stretch on your back. Keep your head and your spine aligned all the time. Good. So now we're gonna drop the right arm to the side. Good. And on the inhale, we're gonna lift the right arm up Exhale down, inhale up and down. One more time, inhale all the way up and down and return the arm to your lap. Big exhale, good. Other arm, release your left arm to the side and on the inhale, leave the left arm and down. Inhale up and down. Last time, goes up, down, bring the arm back to join the other one, big exhale. Now we're gonna place the palms on your lap and on the inhale, press your hands on your arms to come all the way up. Good job. One more push up. This time we're gonna open the knees, toes pointing out, heels inside, and this gives us uh, an opening for the lower back. In, it gives us more uh, flexibility when we do the push-up. Again, place your hands on your lap. Good. Elbows close to your torso. We're gonna take a big inhale. Tighten your belly. Exhale forward. 
Don't drop your head. Inhale, push your hand up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. This time, one option is to stay here, lengthening your spine. Or if you can, come with me and just drop one, your fingertips to, to the mat, other fingertips, and just feel how your back keeps opening. Don't drop your head, don't arch, don't arch your back, just keep it straight, nice stretch to come back. Bring one hand to your lap, other hand to your lap, press your arms and come all the way up. Good, that feels good. So now just bring your knees together, play with them, hello. Bring into the center, and now I wanna walk the, uh, the feet and the knees and just go the other way. Good, have fun with that. Very good, and bring them together. Now we're gonna grab one knee, and then bring it up, and down. Other one up, and down. One more time, we're gonna bring one leg up, bring your head towards your knee, and release. Other one, inhale up, head to the knee, and release, shake the arms. And now before we stand up, we're gonna do a power walk. We're gonna move the arms, move the legs, or you can grab the chair and just lift your hips up and up, wake them up, we're coming up, Good. up and up, one more time, and release, hold the chair, feet on the ground, and then just come all the way up to the sky, bring your arms all the way up, and then lean to the right, Inhale up, lean to the left. One more time, up and right, good. And up and to the left. All the way up to the sky, release your arms, shake arms and legs, good. So now we're gonna start work, working on balancing. We're gonna walk behind the chair. Balancing is so important because when we arrive to these senior years, our sense of balancing decreases and our chances of falling, unfortunately, increase. So we need to keep practicing balance. So we're gonna start by warming up the heels. So you can see me, we're gonna just lift the heels one at a time, good. Up and up, very good. And release, keep holding the chair. We're gonna lift the heels up and down and lift your toes, inhale and down, lift the toes. And again, to, to be safe, keep grabbing the chair at all times if you need it. Inhale, lift your heels up. This time we're gonna stay up, and then just find your, find your uh, pose if you feel safe. Bring one hand to your heart center, and bring the other hand, and stay here for three, and two, and one, lift, and let it go. This seems an easy balancing pose, but no balancing pose is easy, okay? So we'll try one at a time. So now we wanna walk to the right side of the chair. <clears throat> Hold the chair, put all the weight on your left leg, and bring your hand to your hips. <clears throat> now we're gonna bring the point with your toes to the, to the floor, and then to the side, and then back. Front, side, back. Front, side, back. Now the challenge is just to point without touching the floor to the side and back. And if you can, just touch with your one finger the chair or let go and then to the side and back. One more time, front, side, and back. And let it go. Ah, oh, you can feel your leg working, right? All right, good. Balancing is not only good for balancing, but it's good for your muscles. So we're gonna put now all the weight on your right leg. Hold the chair, hand on your hip. And with the left leg, we're gonna point, side, back. Point, side, back. One more time. Touching the floor is easier. But then we do the challenge to just pointing side and back. 
point, side, and back. One more time, point, side, and back. If you can let go of your hand, that's awesome. Shake the legs, good. Very good. One more thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna create um, like a walking, marching um, rhythm. We're gonna lift one leg at a time first, good. Warming up the legs, awesome, awesome. And now we're gonna add the arms. We're gonna start by lifting the right arm and then the leg. And then we're gonna create this motion like walking and up and up. And notice that if we do like walking, it's easier, but the challenge is to start slowing down and then going slower and slower and the slower we go, the harder it gets. But that's the challenge, and that's where the practice comes. And we can stay up for a little bit, like that. And then other side, good. One more time. Good job, shake the legs. We did it. Okay, so practice, practice. Now we're gonna to move to a down dog to st stretch. Stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn my, my chair so you can see me. So we're gonna grab the chair on the top of the chair. And then we're going, well, first of all, we're gonna stretch the, the hamstrings. We're gonna bring one leg back and then place your sole of your feet on the mat, just like that, good. And then release. We're gonna bring the other one Stretch the back, good. And release, good, shake the legs. Very good. Now we're gonna grab the chair. We're gonna start walking back gently, slowly. And we're gonna start bending the knees, stretching the arms, placing them on the, on the top of the chair and bring your head in between your arms and just find the length, the right length for you so you can stretch your back Rest your back. This is a wonderful stretch for your back. Down dog. And on the next inhale, look up. And then start walking towards the chair again. Good. Awesome. Shake the legs. Good. So now comes the fun part. We're going to turn the ch chair facing you. The seat of the chair is going to be facing you. And it's important that you find a good chair and that the chair is secure. I don't want this chair moving away from you. You need to be safe, okay? So we're gonna start by grabbing the chair and then bring the right foot to the chair. It's balancing, right? Okay, so make sure that you are safe. Once you are here, <clears throat> then let go of the hands and voila, we're in one leg, all right. So let's start with the arms on the side. Inhale, arms up, and exhale down. Inhale, up, and down. Inhale, up. This time on the exhale, we're gonna come forward, fingers pointing at me, and just drop the arms in airplane mode. Beautiful. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Good, one more time, drop the arms. Inhale, up. Exhale forward, drop the arms. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Big exhale. So now we're gonna do a prayer pose. We're gonna take a big inhale, tighten your belly, and on the exhale, we're gonna twist to the right and, and rest your left arm on the leg. If this is too much, you can drop your hands right here. But if you can follow me, just come to a prayer pose using your arms, nice twist, gentle massage for your belly. Take a big inhale and then come back to center. And this time we're gonna just drop the arms and let them move like this is a monkey pose, fun. Monkey having fun, move your arms one way or the other, good. And now we're gonna place the hands on the sides of your foot, and we're gonna be stretching the back. Keep your spine and your head aligned. Do not drop your head. Good. And next, we're gonna move the right leg out, and we're gonna bring both hands 
to the seat of the chair. And you will notice that you are opening your hip and you are creating a deeper stretch for your back. It should feel good. Breathe. And on the next inhale, come up. And we're going to keep the right arm close to the leg. And we're going to open the left arm to the side. And then turn your head to the center. Good. Very good. Do you feel good? One more inhale, exhale, bring the hands together, hold the chair, release your leg, back to safety, both legs on the ground. Good. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to bring the left leg. Hold the chair first, bring the left leg once you are safe, and you can just come up to standing. That's good. Now we're going to drop the arms to the side. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale. Inhale, up and down. Inhale, all the way up. On the exhale, come, bring the arms forward and then drop them back. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward and back. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Exhale. We're going to take an inhale. Tighten your belly, and then we're going to twist to the left. You want to rest the arm, and remember that you can keep your arms here, your hands here, or go up for the prayer pose. Good. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. We tend to hold the breath when we're doing something challenging, so try to breathe all the time. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release the hands, and let's do the monkey. Move, let your arms fly all the way. And now bring the hands to the sides of your foot and just feel the stretch on your back. Again, keep your head and your spine aligned. Do not drop your head. That's not good for your neck. And then move the left leg out. Bring both hands to the seat of the chair and just notice how it creates a deeper stretch for your back. Keep breathing. On the next inhale, push the hands and come up. We're going to keep the left arm close to your leg. And then we're going to open the right arm all the way out and bring your head back to center. Keep breathing. Good. You can bring the arm up if you want. Whatever feels better for you. Find your pose. Big inhale. Exhale, hands back, grab the chair. Shake the legs, shake the hips. Now we're going to stretch the back. We've been working on the back a little bit. I'm going to move my chair. You can stay where you are. And then we're, this time we're going to place both hands on the seat. And then we're going to start walking back and back, bending your knees. Once again, your head is in between your, your arms for child's pose. Find the right length for you so you really create a beautiful ma uh, massage and a stretch, actually stretch for your back. Feel the stretch. On the next inhale, look up, and we're going to start this time. We're going to grab the chair from the side. Just grab the seat of the chair, we're going to create a beautiful plank. We're going to start straightening the body, and you can just stay here. You need to stay safe. You can come forward a little bit, but it's about creating this. Um, you are using your arms and your core, tighten your belly, and just a, a gentle plank. You can come forward a little, and then leave your heels, and then bend your knees again, Back to child's pose. And on the next inhale, look up and start walking towards the chair again. Wow, good. Did that feel good? All right, so let's do a little bit of power walk to move the hips. And now we are going to go back to the chair. But before we do that, we're going to do a we're going to work the heart. We're going to start doing a really a power walk 
to raise our heartbeat. And we can do two things. We can just tap the knees, or you want to tap your elbow. It's up to you, or you can do a combination. Either way, this is a cardio move to increase our heart rate. Good, and good. One more time, and one more. And shake it, open your feet a little bit, and then bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart, just feel your heart. Feel your heart racing. Good. Release your arms. So now that we work the body and the heart, we need to work one more thing, the brain. It's important to keep the brain active and sharp. So now we're gonna sit on the chair again, back to the chair. But we're gonna sit in the front of the chair. We're gonna create a mind-body coordination or a sequence. It takes a little practice, but I'm gonna go slow the first time sitting on the front of the chair. So we're gonna start by raising the right arm up, left leg to, this, to the front, good. And now we're gonna change, left arm up, <clears throat> good. And then right arm to the side, and then to the side, and then down, and down. Now we're gonna to touch the left corner, and the right corner. Touch my fingers, other fingers. Touch your leg, and touch right leg. Now we're gonna bring both arms up and up, elbows back, elbows back, to the left, to the right, elbows back, elbows back, and we come back to the lap. So that's the routine or the, or the sequence. So now we're gonna go a little bit faster. Ready, go. Up and up, side, side, down, down, left corner, right corner, to the front and front. Tap your knee, other knee, up arms, both arms, elbows back, elbows back, left corner, right corner, elbows back, elbows back, go back to the left and we're doing again one more time, up and up. Side, side, down, down. Left corner, right corner, to the front, and front. Tap your leg, other leg. Arms up, arms up. Elbows back, and back. Left corner, right corner. Elbows back, and back. And we're done. <laughs> Was that good? So see, you keep, it keeps your mind active and engaged and you, need, you learn to do a routine which is always good for your body and for your mind. <sighs> good, so now we're gonna move to the last pose which is Savasana, which is one of the most important poses in yoga. So we're gonna come back to the chair. We're gonna place your palms on your lap and relax your back. And I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes and just take another moment to quiet the mind and let go of any thought or concern or tension in your body. We're gonna relax every muscle and every part of the body starting from the crown of your head. Relax your neck. Relax each muscle in your face, your eyes, your mouth, and your cheeks. Relax your shoulders and your arms. Relax your chest and your belly. Relax your upper arms, your back, and your hips. Relax your legs and your feet and completely let go. Take this moment to send each breath full of energy, love, and healing 
to each part of your body and relax. Bring awareness back to your body and to your breath. Just take a moment to scan your body and take note of how it feels now. Bring your hands to your heart center. And let's take a moment of gratitude for your practice and for taking care of yourself today. In times of uncertainty, it's important to stay strong, safe, happy, and healthy. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Love you.